the children of Enlil, Ashnan, and Lahar. Ashnan also goes by the name Izina or Izina Kuzu, and was the goddess of grain in ancient Mesopotamia. Ashnan and her brother, both children of Enlil, were created by the gods to provide the Anunnaki with food. But when the heavenly creatures were found unable to make use of their products, humankind was created to provide an outlet for their services. The food offerings would be for a deceased spirit, the soul of a deity. The meaning of Ezina is to beautify, and the name is associated with Taurus, the great bull from heaven. Would I be right in suggesting that this sounds like concealment, meaning to beautify Taurus. Enlil is the god of the wind and storm, hence the bringer of cultivation. The name Azina redirected me to Apona, who is a Celtic goddess. Apona relates to Erakura, who in turn relates to Omoraka hence to the original Babylonian and Celtic goddess, Tuatha, the original god, which focused on the basic needs for human survival. To further this information on Ezina, relating to Ezi, the dynasty of Kish was founded by Enmi Baragesi, a contemporary of Gilgamesh, who it now appears may have been a woman. I did say that I thought Gilgamesh was merged with an earth hero. So Gilgamesh would be the mythological side, and Mibagaresi would be the historical side. The name Enmi Ragesi tells us a story. When separating the name into its components, it becomes immediately clear that in this Sumerian name, we are dealing with a scholarly, manipulated statement. In the Saharan Basque language, the meaning of the separate components is as follows. From that time on, female, harvest, lustful, notorious, to domesticate. Which means, from that time on, the lustful, notorious, harvest female was domesticated. So Ezi means to domesticate, and Na means negative or affirmative, hence Enzina could also mean to positively domesticate negativity, as above, so below. We must remember here that Zhu took the role of Molil who then became Enlil, and the true author of the Book of Hades is none other than Mulmi Sara, who is in fact the male Mulil Enlil in female form. Enlil is described as a male succubus, so, the lustful, notorious, harvest female that was domesticated may actually be Zhu, Enlil, Mullil's female form. Taking the female role is not a problem, in fact it is essential, especially when his goal 
is to steal the role of the original god, who was female. This would be why Enlil is now the father of Azina Kuzu. Enlil is now placed above her in the Pantheon. The Pantheon is the product of the Empire. The symbol of Kuzu is the letter I for shark, and also Kuzu, I, I, is seal, as in magical seal. The envoy of Anshar was named Gaga, so we can now see that Gaga, which is I, I, means seal. The fact that this name, Ezina Kuzu, means to positively domesticate a negative seal, and that Gematria is an aspect of the cuneiform writing system, shows us that the dark occult is the major focus of the Anunnaki. The meaning of Ku is to base, found, build, to lie down. And Zu is He, which relates to the moon god Sin, Zuen, Enzu, possibly relating to the prostrate man under the Lion of Babylon, which is the foundation stone of the Empire. The name Azina Kuzu can mean in full, to beautify Taurus, to base, to found, to lay prostrate in front of Zuen, Enzu. The name Anunnaki is derived from An, the Sumerian god of the sky. The name is variously written, Anuna, Danuna Kifoni or Danuna, which means princely offspring, or offspring of An. But Anuna can mean having full power. The cuneiform sign for A, and in the Epic of Gilgamesh, the Sumeriogram, A in Akkadian, is for Mu, water, which is used in the Gilgamesh flood myth. The sign is also used extensively in the Armana letters. Nun means serpent but also prince. But if the letter A is added, it means water. So Anuna actually means water water, or water serpent water. After learning that Hydra is actually real, which lives in lakes and ponds in the tropical regions, which god of the water is this referring to? Anzu, in origin, is Hydra. Mamu is also known as Anzu, who is the cause of the flood. Enlil is also the one who sends the flood, and Enki suggests punishing humanity with pestilence instead of the flood. But of course the flood still came, and the flood 
causes pestilence. Mamu is the problem, Enlil is the reaction, and Enki is the balancing force, meaning the solution. The word triune is specifically in reference to the Trinity, and the meaning is three in one, one God in three roles. Here is a great example. When the Sumerian word had a similar meaning, but very different sounds. They were written with the same symbol. For instance, the word tooth is zoo. I will have to repeat this another three times, as this is a revelation. The tooth of the Canaanite Sanosiphalus, the wicked ibis, the sparrow hawk, wrapped in its beaky mask. The symbol for tooth is zu, mouth is ka, and voice is gu, were all written with the symbol of voice. To be more accurate, the scribes started adding two signs, or combining two signs, to define the meaning. They used either geometrical patterns or another cuneiform sign, all of which would be a mask of the original word. Geometrical patterns resonate energy, and of course Mamu and Zu is the word. So who is benefiting from this energy? Negativity within our realm may be positive in another. So the negative lamentation invocation used by Enki to make Abzu dormant may actually be the opposite. Meaning that Enki is feeding something with positive energy in the Great Abyss. And Tesla's AC current is enabling the power to run both ways. that so-called positivity being negativity from humanity. The problem with the scientists is that they are focused solely on achieving their goal without care and regard for cause and effect. A quote from Tesla is ringing in my ears. He tapped into the knowledge of the universe, but never tried to understand the true source of his information. And then he goes on to give warnings about his own machines and their devilish potential. You should look before you leap. The warnings come after the spells. But he was not first in the occult works. I think he realized his great mistake. The great influence may be a spirit. The voice. Mamu and Zu is the floodstorm weapon. Zu the tooth. Mamu and Zu is the Logos, the word of Ka, the mouth, and the word is nothing without Gu, the voice, all of which have the same meaning. So I ask you again, which god of the water is this all referring to?
please hit that notification bell to ensure that you are notified of each upload. Share, like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. For more Mythology 7 documentaries.